Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, as I said, my name is Simon Thady. Uh, I'm the founder and publisher of Tech City News. Now, I'm going to do what they call a pivot. Okay, I was going to talk about a long speech, but I'm going to change it a little bit. Now, as I said, I'm the founder of Tech City News and also a Tech London advocate, which means this is Tech City. Turn the volume up a bit. Now, Tech City News is an independent publication. We're not connected to the Tech City Investment Organization. Now, what I was going to do is talk about what is Tech City. Okay, but I'm going to flick through a lot of this, okay, because where is Tech City? Okay, that's important. It's in East London. Again, I was going to talk about the explosive growth of Tech City when uh, Ron mentioned it earlier on, that there's 15 startups and now there's something like 3,200 and by estimations that 15,720 companies were registered in the year before, so March, end of March this year. So it's explosive sort of growth. I was going to talk about who's in Tech City, some of these great companies. Again, some of the hottest companies which are now growing, growing very, very fast. And some of the US companies in Tech City. And some of the tech giants in Tech City. I'm not going to talk about that now because late night, I don't think you want to hear all this too much. And also, I was going to talk about the venture capitalists in Tech City, why they are coming over here. But I think what's more important is that, again, incubators, accelerators, there's hundreds and hundreds of them here in Tech City. Co-working spaces, we got some of the best, biggest, including the bakery, Google Campus. I was going to tell you how successful Google Campus is. We got nearly, they've gone through about 10,000 members in the last year. They've only been open for one year. 1,500 events, 60,000 total events covered. Okay, and I was going to talk about the government backing, why Tech City is, but I don't think you guys want to hear all this at this time of night. And all the great legislation that they were putting together for Tech City, the R&D credits, everything which makes Tech City in London one of the best places in the world to set up your business. Again, I was going to talk about all this, but I think it might be a little bit too much. You guys probably want to go to sleep now, later on. <laughs> so they've opened up the government procurement, opened up data, all these wonderful things which the government did to make London one of the most attractive destinations for tech startups. But today is... Entrepreneurship Day. So I thought, let's talk about a little bit more about entrepreneurship. Now, what makes Tech City is the people here. People who are come, people like yourself, who come over here to pursue their dreams. And let's hear some of these people.
think it's a fantastic place to start imagining um, what you could become. I thought I'd come and start to make a, a million dollars. Surely, and it looks that bad. <laughs> <¿Qué te devuelvo? laughs> surely we can do something uh, that makes a million dollars and looks better. I felt, you know, what is this mysterious language that, that I don't understand? We thought that actually marketers are going to have to change the way they talk to their consumers. The internet at the time didn't really have a home for extended audio content. We were all talking and saying, you know, what are you using to, to manage those research papers? Do you have any, any good tool? We said, well, we can't offer them money, so maybe we can offer them our experience and our expertise on this platform. I realized I was spending my whole day helping other people and, and you know, how do I turn this into a living? Um, we had a crazy idea to try and run, well, really just one event. Um, to see if we could create an event that we would want to go to that was kind of more representative of all the different people in the community that we had met. I had spent like kind of four months like around city and kind of I had read the Lean Startup by this point and so I was like oh, I could do this. We, we came across a friend of a friend, uh, a guy called Matt Clayton and we started working with him on a skill swap basis. We've launched CODED and uh, quite excited about that, so which will be teaching teachers across all subjects. After some investigation, we found Tech Hub was really good in terms of price, availability, and also the things they did during the week. As Facebook and, and Twitter became more important and Facebook went public, and lots of managers of artists and artists themselves started to say, I need to be on this. So they actually started to approach us. Instead of selling uh, pixels, we sold squares on our homepage. And uh, just from there, through whatever means, it turned into an ad network. I have like, great advisors. Um, Judith Clegg from Takeout is one. And she sort of saw this great connection. I think it's great for us to attract talent as well. Um, because people walk in, they know the area, they know the building, they see our, our space, they see the vibe, the energy. And I think people want to be part of that. Most importantly, our ethos was always you know, show up be consistent and really, really care about people that you're at your events and make them welcome. And doing that, it just, it's been an absolute explosion. Like a month in this industry is like a year in some other industries. The business model is fluid, it keeps flowing and it keeps changing. I think the thing about Tech City that interests me the most is that it's, it's like a serendipity accelerator. And I think, you know, people like Amazon moving into the area, Facebook opening up an engineering center now, which is very interesting. Um, instead of just the sort of sales part. That stuff will fuel more and more attention. It needs to, it needs to be appeared to be a bit more grown up in some respects over time to attract the big, the big companies um, without losing its you know, small independent businesses, which is you know, the lifeblood of the area. In the very early days, it really was just very small businesses using cheap space as a place to, to do something. Whereas now, it's attractive a whole combination of companies, from the big to the small, um, all who want to uh, be able to access talent. The regular Tech City breakfasts, you know, organised by Rohan Silva, who's becoming an entrepreneur himself in the near future, um, have been so valuable for us to you know, air our uh, problems. Tech City has done such a good job at putting a spotlight on some of the incredible businesses coming out of uh, London. It's now a hub for talent. Whereas when it was start, you know, when it started, it was a hub for cheapness. These businesses in Tech City are at the very forefront of their industries, and so it's going to be very interesting for us to see how people use the super fast connection that EE4G gives them. But there's a general want to build things in this in this community, um, and that's you know that, that's not about building revenues. That's about building things which are cool and innovative. Uh, we launched a new uh, mobile website, uh, and we're working on new Android and potentially even BlackBerry app as well. What we're focusing on building out is the kind of content that women want to see about each other. So getting a more kind of pictorial view. We are on a global mission. You know, anyone and everyone should be able to kind of have access to technology and be able to learn these skills. It's democratic. The web is a democratic tool. You know, anyone can learn. Everything is there, but there are a lot of kind of emotional and educational barriers in the way. I feel like, you know, we have platform solutions and we have the mindset and we also have a very, very inspired group of people and this is the hub of all that thinking. Ideally, this is a blueprint for, for a better Britain, um, and maybe even for a better world where people are really engaged and positive and, and celebrating creative entrepreneurship in a, in, a, in a new way, and hopefully creating just a better model for the 21st century. Okay, so that's 
what Tech City is. It's the people, the people that make it happen. The people who have dreams, they want to solve problems, entrepreneurs. So I thought, let's talk about entrepreneurs here. Like, tell you my story, for example, as an entrepreneur. When I, the idea for Tech City News came for me on a trip, I was going to uh, Las Vegas uh, to look at another product because I was looking to design a product for uh, photographing car journeys. Uh, some friends came with me who are in publishing. And they, we started talking about publishing and I said, look, by the way, guys, you know there's something fantastic happening here in, this was in 2010, in London, which there's no sort of a publication covering this particular sector. And that got my idea thinking, like a true entrepreneur, they said, oh, there's nothing really happening. I pursued that dream. I networked, I, for two years, I went to every event, every function, discussed all the ideas, met all the people. I know all the people on that video personally. And that's what, and as, as I was networking, the events grew from, so like from one a week to literally now every week, you can go to about 10 to 15 events every single day around the East London Tech City area. And the events are now being covered by a lot, lot more people. So it's about entrepreneurs. So is there anybody here who's uh, considered themselves an entrepreneur tonight? Would you say you're an entrepreneur? Did you raise your hand? Are you an entrepreneur? Would you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Now, question is, what really makes an entrepreneur? Are you willing to give up everything? Are you willing to sort of like sacrifice? Are you willing to stand here at nine o'clock on an evening and talk about what you believe? Because this is what entrepreneurship is about. It's about actually just fulfilling your dreams. And London at the moment, is one of the best places to do this. The reason why London is so successful is because it is a great city. It was just voted in the last couple of days as the best place in Europe to be an entrepreneur. It's voted, it's got the best range of tax incentives, best range of uh, sort of locations, best sort of availability of resources, mentors, uh, venture capitalists. It's one of the fantastic place to live. Now, that's why at the moment Tech City is doing really, really well. Now, it's growing rapidly, though, you know, in terms of we got competition coming from Berlin, we got competition from New York, we got competition but as an entrepreneur nowadays, you don't really need to be any physical location. So you can, because the internet has freed up. You've got cloud services, you've got apps, you've got availability of capital in a sense of from any location anywhere. So it comes down to it now that you can really set up anywhere in the world if you want to set up a business. So why choose here? Why choose London? Now London is one of the most best cities because people want to now live in urban environments and some especially cool urban environments. Now, London historically has been a financial center. It's been a uh, sort of an area where traditionally it was very much in service oriented businesses. Now, as the change is happening, the entrepreneurial culture is uh, coming in. It is now attracting the, you know, the, 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 the people who want to achieve things. Now, it's become, what's the word for it, like, you know? A destination of choice. Being because it has the World Heritage Sites, it's got the clubs, it's got all the networks that are necessary 
to make a successful company. Now, if I ask a question here of how many people actually know of the text cluster in London? Anybody know here? It is a great possibility that Actually, I'm dying here at the moment. <laughs> okay. So, London is the destination of choice, as I was saying, like, you know, for entrepreneurs. Now, there's nothing more I can say from that. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Thanks a lot. Questions? Bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm.